So I'll come back to the shop. I'll grab. Oh, he he operates truck. a. Uh, I will load it up with. Uh, whatever I need. Normally it's crushed concrete. Fuck, what are they? Is it called a dump? No, it's not a dump truck. It's a. Uh, what is it called? You gotta get the right amount in the hole, so I might have to make a couple trips. I mean, he drives a dump truck. And then that is called the excavator. That's, That's what it's I called. That's the day. one. Excavator. I gamed when I was younger, but, you know, esports wasn't around. So, but Brendan, as he was growing up and he was young, we gamed, you know? DCJ still holds it. And these fraggers are continuing to frag. DCJ with three. It's a front loader? He's having fun too, man. Anyway. Yeah, hopefully it would be sublime, but it's just being covered. BCJ. When he got signed and got noticed by T1, he, he came to both of us and said, you know, what do you think about this? And we were, you know, we were 100, we've always been 100% behind Brendan, you know. Like I said, he's he was dealt a bad deck with his health. And good things, I told him, good things are going to happen, you know, and they have, you know, it's been great. I love, I love watching my son play. It's good things it's happen to good like people. Because it is my son and, you know, I call him after every match. I said, man, right here, round seven, you know, if you just would have, you know, he's like, I know, Dad. You <laughs> tell me anything I don't know. DCJ, when he could do some serious damage, some serious work, and there he is, flash, up around the corner, another player spotted, and yep. Oh, what a play by BCJ. Sick camera. Holy nice. fuck. That's me coming out, my game, my game self coming out, you know? That's how close some of these matches are, you know? One little peak or one little this could could turn a match around that's cool that's cool that is that uh watches like that i kind of live through brendan now you know because i don't i don't game anymore i feel like that helps a lot to have a supportive uh family all this stuff and the first map finish it's all connected there you and, go 13 uh, 7 let's go wait i didn't look at the preds but i'm gonna mute real quick i'm watching this video i'll be back yeah, yeah go for it. i i wouldn't have handled it as well if he had you know a lot of people be like well, always me you know why does this happen to happen to me and i've never seen brendan say anything like that ever nothing he's always just dealt with it and this is what i got you know and he's no different than he was when he before any of this stuff came along, he's, he's the same kid. The VCJ. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting my infusion right now. I get it uh, every eight weeks. Come back to Michigan, uh, say what's up to the family, and uh, have Renee give me an infusion. We've I doesn't live at home anymore. This for quite some time now, since I was, yeah, like probably 16, 17. Kind of figured out it was something to do with my stomach, uh, but we weren't like sure what it was. Ready? Here's your help. Mm -hmm. It was he actually started with his neck. He, you know, he he was not having good movement with his neck and stuff. And uh, you know, we took him to several doctors. We were going from physical medicine doctor to a, a neurosurgeon, and the neurosurgeon told us, "Oh, it's just muscle." You know, like he plays too many games, and it's his muscles are seized up or whatever. And so that was one, one misdiagnosis. We had a That's second fun. misdiagnosis from the orthopedic surgeon. He had more stomach issues. And that's when we went in for that. They told us it was his appendix. He had his appendix removed. Uh, we had to be on bowel rest, so I couldn't eat food. I uh, couldn't drink, you know, even like water at that time. So I was getting all like my nutrients and stuff through like a big bag and it was going through an IV. That was what I initially started with until they figured out what I had. Once they figured out that it was kind of Crohn's disease and linked with that, then now I'm on the medicine that, you know, treats it. The arthritis with his neck, it's connected to the Crohn's. It's the same issue. Everything is inflamed. So his neck inflamed in between and fused together, and his intestines inflamed. Getting poked every eight weeks is definitely... I need to try somewhere else. I'm sorry. Will do. But yeah, I get more comfortable over time for sure. It is a autoimmune disease, which means his immune system attacks itself, attacks his gastrointestinal tract. So this medicine is called a biologic. 
and it basically just inhibits part of his immune system so that it won't attack his GI system anymore. Brennan's probably been in remission, or mostly remission, for about six years now since he started this medicine. So it's not to say he's without symptoms completely, but he's able to function normally, or as normally as somebody with his condition can. He's always got to watch what he eats, and stress plays a big part in his symptoms and how severe they can get. So this uh, tournament is probably going to be difficult for him. Stress causes an inflammatory response, which hurts his spine and it hurts his stomach. So I got to say he's living every, every teenager's dream right now to be a professional gamer. But I don't think anybody that I see would have the dedication that he has. Brennan had 19 inches of his intestine taken out when he was in the hospital for a, for the month. He asked, Dad, do you think you can get my computer up here, his gaming computer? I'm like, I, I think so, I guess so. <laughs> so I found a flatbed cart, came home and grabbed the monitor, the tower, and put it on the cart, and I'm wheeling it through the hospital. <laughs> That's Everybody's fucking looking dope. at me like, what, That's what fucking is this dope. guy doing? And went up to his room, and you know, you got that little feeding table that they kind of slide in over here when you're eating. Yeah. We popped his monitor on that, and <laughs> he had his tower, and the nurses walked in, and like, okay. okay. <laughs> so for the time he was in the hospital, he was gaming. That's fucking dope. That's all, it's what he wanted to do, you know? That's so yeah. dope. When they asked me if there's anything I need, I asked, my computer? <laughs> and uh, I played an Overwatch ranked game from my hospital bed to stop my decay. Daily life is obviously a little harder. Walking around and seeing people, I can't look up at them. I gotta kind of push my chest out like this to look straight. That's how I look at the ceiling now, you know? Um, so walking around all day, pushing my stomach out definitely like hurts my back. And so that's where my back pain comes from a little bit. Pretty much the whole next few, so that's, you know, done and dusted. Um, but yeah, figuring it all out soon. That's why he's the, the medicine is a pre, is a preventative. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting, hopefully, kind of straight, more looking up at his monitor a little bit. But doesn't mean it couldn't. You know, they don't know everything about medicine and what it does and doesn't do. So. I know he told me in Copenhagen that uh, the first match against Optic, he said he was in like, dude, it was not good. He was in a lot of pain, and so not only did you got to deal with world class talent, Optic world defending world champions, but you got this pain in your back that you got to. Somehow, I told him, just kind of, you got to try and... Well, first of all, I said Motrin. <laughs> <laughs> I told him no pillow. <laughs> you know, and then and then I said, you know, you just got to get it out of your head. You just got to focus on what you got to do, you know. But it's hard when you're in pain, you know. Yeah, I was out. After that first game against Optic, I was out the whole two days after that, pretty much, just lying in bed or very limited. I think everyone's got their own vice for, you know, motivation, but uh, it's definitely a big one for me is, you know, family, because, you know, they've always been supportive of my gaming career, so that's you know, a big, uh, big motivation factor for me going into every event. Yeah, this is so, like, emotional, dude. He handles it great. He handles it different than I do, you know? Like, I was getting mad, like, what the heck, you know? It's just, it's, you know, but I always try to stay positive. I always tell Brennan, you gotta stay positive, you know? And I remember my dad saying something along the lines of, you know, no matter what you have, there's always people out there that have it worse. And so I think that kind of stuck with me during the beginning of it, and it kind of helped me understand, like, yeah, if all I have is, you know, I can't move my neck every once in a while, a few back pain, I think I can do just fine. I think I can manage. So I think that's definitely stuck with me the longest. And then I pull the IV out. Yeah. Don't let him trick you. It's not the needle that is painful. It's this damn tape. <laughs> I don't fuck with no needles, dude. So, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the basement where I uh, compete. Uh, I've always competed here ever since the start of Apex and Battalion, and... Uh, kind of where my career started after my sister stole my room. When I'm in my infusion, break, anything, holiday, and I can still play the gaming and den. I can still compete or practice from here. Initially, was getting like complaints like, where are you playing from, dude? This looks like, you know, a warehouse. And so I started calling it that. I started calling it the warehouse. 
We're getting ready to go boot camp and uh, we're getting ready to just get in that mindset. You know, once we get there, once we get into Europe, we're gonna be playing 24 seven. We're gonna be grinding. That's our focus. Yo, what's up, Drew? You ready for practice? I'm uh, feeling good. I haven't been down in the pier here in a long time. Yeah. Probably since your graduation. Oh, oh that's man. an awesome spot. What I the fuck? This game since that's I was a like sick eight. spot. Yeah, I hope you got better. How's the vibe in the house right now? Oh, it's been good. I think we're just we're we're ready to, you know, kind of shut everyone up. Got you know, I never and, Tijo, uh, I never played it. We we got that experience and I think we're we're the best we've ever been. How's scrims going? Scrims going good? Yeah, you know, we're scrimming every day. For us, it's always been like focus on one or two things a week and then uh, like iron it out, you know, like nail it down. Yeah. That's good because you guys played great in Copenhagen, like that that game against Leviathan. You guys, you guys had that game, oh. man. I was, <laughs> no, I was bringing up I was the games. The exit guys, they had their opportunities, but they squandered them. I mean, going to Istanbul for me, like this win's gonna mean everything. Like this is the culmination of everything. Man, it'll be awesome to see them win this match. We don't know what's gonna happen next year, so this is really the last event, possibly for this. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. FPX looks fucking insane in the second map. So. Four, two. So, for me, we gotta go out there and put our best possible showing that we can, and I think it just would come full circle to everything that I've worked for in this game and just how hard that I want it. Like, I think everyone who's played with me kind of knows how hard I work for the wins and just what it means to, to win to me. You guys went out to the NSGs and won that, and you, they got these rings. Have you guys got the trophy yet? Yep, we got rings. That was cool stuff, but to see the, the world championship, you, you know, you guys each behind you know, the trophy which is, would be awesome, man. Which I'm sure every parent wants to see. But, you know, I know the, the stuff that you've gone through, it just makes me want to see it that much more. Yeah. You know, it, it really does. It's right there. It, it's for anybody's taking. And, you know, why not exit, you know? You there you go. Play. Yeah. Dad's repping the I set. I win this tournament more than ever. I think our team feels the same way. And we're, we're going to do it. Dude, this yeah. game sucks. <laughs> Ain't no Good Valorant. Thing I don't play Valorant, huh? No. Because you know what happened if I did play Valorant. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's bad, yeah. Giga Chad. Nice. Nice video. Nice video. Great insight.